How's it going, Blazers? We're going to bring you specifications you can relate to so you can have an educated decision on your purchases. Going to play around with this new setup. So normally, I was recording on my dining room table. I did move into a spare room. Uh, so we'll play around with lighting and everything else. Seems like it's working pretty well so far. So let me know as far as what you think. Uh, I did pick up uh, some uh, pocket pens uh, for now this one. This is the Popov Leather uh, Pocket Armor. And then so I did pick up uh, some of these. This is the one that is the little uh, pens here so the pocket pens uh, so very inexpensive not too bad so far that's going to be what i'm going to be using uh, for uh, this to test it out and see how it goes i'm just carrying around the little swiss army knife right now but this knife here is going to be now the one uh, from uh, monterey bay knives uh, so this is a brand that started in 2017 with sanford owen and ray laconico uh, so this is one that, um, there's one of two that came out. They will have some other knives coming out as well. Uh, so, so far, this one seems to be popular enough um, because it is currently sold out. Uh, so you will be having another one coming in that will also have a hardened a steel insert. Uh, so this one, if you did get the first round, uh, did not have a hardened steel insert. I guess they were trying to stay pretty close to the actual, uh, the, the custom version. Uh, so that's why they did not go with that initially. Uh, but then they did find there were some little um, things with lock stick. Uh, so that's why they went and actually changed it out. And so the new ones uh, will actually have the insert for it. Uh, this one did have a little bit of stick when I first got it. I cleaned it with uh, basically just the little uh, eyeglass wipe on the actual contact surface on the blade. And right now uh, it doesn't have any stick uh, that I know of for it. So uh, that's something that it actually did uh, clear itself up. And this is a pass around knife. So do appreciate um, them for actually allowing us to take a look at the knife uh, for uh, the Monterey Bay knives. So do appreciate that very much. And uh, thank you to them for doing that. Now this one is a one that is uh, S35VN. So for corrosion resistance side, it's going to be about the 78th percentile for that uh, hardness, about 64th percentile. And then compared to all the other steels out there, uh, even the super steels, it's going to be about the 60th percentile for that. Uh, so this one actually uh, is a pretty decent size uh, for the knife itself. So that's going to be uh, one here. So this is going to be the Rat 2. And we do have the Medford Smooth Criminal. And we have the Nakamura. A Delica 4. And then we have Benchmade. A bug out. So there's other ones to compare to actually get kind of an idea as far as what that would be like for you. Uh, a little bit better uh, option for that is going to be using the hand sizing chart. So print that out. It's in the description uh, down below. Uh, so you can actually do the hand sizing chart and print that out. And then we'll look at that for adult female hand. And then we'll also look at that for adult male hand. Uh, so you're going to see that knife uh, in a different orientation. Uh, so it's going to be basically in this orientation where you're going to be having it uh, where you actually line up with your hand and see where that's going to be uh, for you. Kind of the closest thing that is a, the ability to actually have it in hand without having it in hand. Kind of figure that out. Uh, so this one goes for about $225 uh, for the knife. Uh, so again, the newest ones, uh, the second round, will have that hardened steel insert. So it'll actually be uh, something that uh, will look, work out better for a lot of people as far as what they prefer. Uh, this one uh, under microscope, I did put under microscope for it. Uh, this is about a six hundredth of a centimeter as far as behind the edge thickness. And that's about 23 thousandths. So about six pieces of copy paper. So if you do pick that up out of your copy machine and get six sheets, that's going to be what is behind the edge, at least for this model, as far as what that's going to look like now uh, for it. And then also you can look at uh, the, the, the carry side of it. There's a right hand tip up carry only. So it does have it on this side, doesn't have any type of carry option on the other. So right hand tip up, and then uh, that is gonna be uh, fairly decent in pocket. Uh, goes in and out fairly well, and nothing that's really too uh, too much as far as attention. And then, so it works fairly well uh, for what it is. And it's not too bad as far as the way that it carries as well. A uh, sharpness side, uh, this one is a pass around knife, uh, but this one came out at 272. And so that's still in the new high-end cutlery. So after going through a few people uh, that might do like different cuts as far as 
uh, just cutting cardboard or other little um, items. So nothing real heavy use, but still at 272 uh, from that time period. So that's really not uh, bad at all. Uh, some of the things that I don't like about it, as far as some of the uh, kind of more, um, I guess, not sharp, uh, but uh, pointy edges. And so like this side is very smooth and I'd almost prefer uh, this type of uh, finish on the top side, uh, right by this lanyard hole. Because like, that's something where you can feel it in hand uh, when you actually work with it, as well as the flipper tab itself uh, is very pointy. So you get used to that. Uh, so as you use it over time, it'll be something that you'll probably uh, not even think about uh, for it. So that's why it's kind of a buy or borrow as far as my recommendation for it, because it is probably worth the money that you're going to pay for it. Uh, but also there's going to be some of those things where you might not like uh, some points of it as far as um, the fuel in hand. But again, that's something that if you just use it for a little bit, uh, your body kind of gets used to it and then it doesn't become an issue anymore. But you might pick it up the first time and go, well, I don't really like how this feels or how this is. Uh, but overall, it's a pretty nice one, uh, fairly good uh, for the first run. Uh, so they don't have uh, their OEM uh, advertised, uh, but they are having it uh, manufactured overseas uh, for it. Uh, so that's really uh, quite a good offering for them. And they are really wanting to do customer service. So if you ever run into any issues with the knives, so if you pick up one, uh, either um, the min pin, which this is, or the EZC, uh, and then they'll have others as well. Uh, if you have any issues with it, give them a contact. They'll take care of you because they are trying to um, just make sure they're offering you a great product at a really good price and also just giving you that customer service basis as well. So check them out for that. Uh, so that's going to be Monterey Bay Knives. So thanks again for them to actually send this along so we can check it out. And that is that. Uh, oh, I actually did one. forget one other thing. So one thing for, uh, for the pull test. So normally for this one, uh, it's something that I would use for any of the flipper tabs. Normally about two to three uh, ounces or two to three pounds is a pretty decent amount as far as a flipper tab weight. So I'll try and get something and see where this one sits. It's kind of an odd shaped flipper tab, but this can be a little bit over three. So three pounds, 1.3 ounces. So I'm still in that kind of that sweet spot for it, at least in my opinion. Uh, so that's going to be uh, for this knife here. So Monterey Bay Knives, check it out. Let me know in the comments down below as far as what you think. What do you think about the lighting? Uh, what do you think about the sound? Because I'm in a little different setup right now. And so this is going to be kind of uh, where I'm going to be doing this now. So I don't need to keep on setting up on my dining room table uh, when I'm doing this type of video. So let me know. Thank you very much for your time and have a great night.